look so sweet, the pair of you. You and the little baby boy that you always wanted. Wish it was ours. So you could hand him over for me to do his nappy? Did me fair share. With both of them. Yeah, well, I wouldn't call you a hands-on, Dad. I'm making up for it now. He's up six times in the night, little beggar. Yeah, well, it's very unsettling for a baby to be passed from pillar to post, not knowing where your home is. Babies are very sensitive. To try and find a 24-hour supermarket, buy some supplies. Didn't know what to buy. Bought the wrong size nappies. <sighs> Don't know what he weighs. Don't know much about him, really. Well, it looks like you're about to go up a very steep learning curve. Look, you couldn't... No! You don't even know what I was going to ask yet. Well, whatever it is, I won't help you with anything. Ever. I just need someone to have him for five minutes while I go for a wash. I don't want you two helping him either. Oh, thanks, Eileen. And I don't mind you moving in either, as long as you pay your way. Of course you will, but we are sharing a room. Hour and a quarter she was in the bathroom. Well, she has to look good, ma'am. A living depends on it. I'm just saying, there has to be some house rules now that she's moved in. Oh, I couldn't agree more. Right, rule number one. Nobody touches my skincare products. They are especially formulated for my skin type. I wouldn't touch your flaming potions with a barge ball. Yeah, well, somebody has. Oh, happy birthday, Rosie. Oh, thank you, Mum. Oh, do you know, I hated you not being in the house this morning. Yeah, well, how much sleep would I get with my dad's little brat wailing? Well, not a lot, if last night's anything to go by. Do you know, I hate the fact he's driven you out. You know, Mum, I didn't even have a text of him this morning. Never mind a card or a present. It's a strange setup, I must say. It's intolerable, Eileen. There's no talking to him. Two minutes. Oh, they've started. Anyway, I thought you said David was on ham. What? That ham costs a lot of money, and if the pan boils dry... Oh, go on, Nigella. Hey, bring us back a hip flask. It's freezing. Christmas is a time of great excitement, joy and celebration. But the terrible and tragic events of two weeks ago have cast a long shadow over our community as we gather here tonight. But the message of Christmas is a message of hope. I can't remember a time in my life when I was more in need of hope than I am tonight. So let's sing. Let our voices be heard across Weatherfield and let them be heard high up in heaven. Rosie's birthday. Yeah. What can I do? Don't worry. She knows it's tough being a single girl. Why are you doing this, Kevin? Hey? Haven't you put me through enough? You're tearing this family apart. You've driven Rosie away. You're trying to drive me out as well. No. Because it's not going to work. You're the one in the wrong. I know, and I'm trying to put it right. By you, by him, by Tyrone. You've made me a laughing stock. People think I've taken you back. What people who? I'll put them straight if you want. And now they're going to think that I'm letting you live here, you and your illegitimate child. People can't decide if I'm a mug or a saint. Look, Tyrone just dumped him on me. What am I meant to do? Go and live somewhere else, Kevin. Go and start a new life uh -huh. and stop rubbing me nose in it. Well, I'm not leaving. Don't matter what you say, I'm not moving out. Do you want me to warm to him? Is that what it is? that you can use him to win me over? No, I just... Because watching you with him 
makes me hate you even more. And I want rid of you both. If someone could direct me to a street where I could stand, cobbles beneath my feet, tearful with rain, the shadows of my hopes behind the stained glass windows of a pub, ghosts, I would turn up the collar of my coat and walk and number each small terraced house by heart. Birthplace, neighbors, hard man, hussy, harridan, hustler, Hero, heroine, threshold, bride and groom, as clueless of next year as Christmas Eve, or exit place, a hearse, a raw and local grief. Then I'd retrace my steps, perhaps a baby's cry, sharp as a sudden star nailed to the sky. To stand now in this back street bar, nursing a beer, all my griefs, my gifts, and glad I live here. To do so don't come in. Me? I'm having a bath. Don't worry. I won't cry and talk to you. I don't really care if you do. I mean, I know why Sally and Soph are mad at you, but it's not like you're an evil person or anything. It's obvious that you're really sorry. Blimey. Compassion. I can't handle it. And, um... I don't think Sophie is as anti you as you might. What I mean is, she's she's in a really difficult position. I know, <clears throat> and so are you. You don't want to get caught up in it. It's like a war zone. I like totally freaked out though. I mean, it's a baby, and both your daughters are already grown up. <laughs> it wasn't part of the plan, no. So you're definitely gonna keep him. How do you mean? I don't know. Just, I mean. You've only had it 24 hours and you already look wrecked. <laughs> oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. Just taking it one day at a time. I'm amazed Tyrone did what he did. Oh, yeah? Well, yeah, I mean, he must have bonded with him. Just to give him away like that right near Christmas. Yeah, I know. It's insane. In fact, I'm going to go and speak with him now. Now? It has to be now. I need to know. Do you, um, do you want me to mind Jack? Well, don't want to get you in any trouble. It's only going to be for a few minutes, isn't it? Thanks, Sha. Okay. How dare you walk out and leave your baby? She answered she'd keep an eye out. You put her on the spot. I'm not having it. I didn't mind. I mind. He's using you. I needed a quick word with Tyrone. Did he wake up? No, not a peep. Good. This baby is your responsibility and nobody else's. You're right, he is. I know that now. And if you're absolutely against us being here, which I can see you are, then we'll go. Will you go where? I don't know. A stable. Mum, I don't want him to go. Yeah, well, I do. I'm glad he's finally got the message. Mum, it's Christmas Eve. Good. It's freezing. Even better. How long has he been working on this, Alan? I mean, I know you're not family, but we need to show a united front. It's not just her. I feel sorry for him, too. Why do little 
babies turn everybody's brains to mush. It's just a ploy. Mum, we're Christians. We have to show some compassion. I've left a number at the guest house there in case you want me. I'll see you. It's just a lying, cheating, low life, baby or no baby. Mum, look at him. He's helpless. OK, he can stay for Christmas. But don't expect me to talk to him. Thank you.